Today, I'm gonna show you how to roll a perfect joint. But before we start that, do me a favor. Right below the video right here, there's a thumbs up button. Click that shit for me. Dude, thank you, appreciate that. Also, up here, subscribe button, and right next to that, notification bell. Go ahead and click that too, I appreciate it. Go ahead and click that too, I appreciate it, motherfucker. Hey, what's up YouTube? Dope is Yola here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Today's video is going to be how to roll a joint part two. So uh, we did this a while back, but you guys had some more questions. And uh, now we have this dope ass overhead view and more equipment, better lights. So we want to redo it and do it better. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is how to roll a perfect joint part two. All right, guys, all you're going to need is a grinder. If you like grinding your weed, I know I have some homies that only do scissors, hand breakup, grinders only way for me with joints, papers and tips. This is a preference, you don't have to have tips. And uh, I got something else that's really dope today. Uh, this is my own weed, my own legal weed that's in the fucking dispensaries, guys. Uh, it's so fucking awesome to know that this is legal, taxable. There we go, let's put this box away. Shout out to Jordan for this design, shit's fucking awesome. Um, yeah guys, this is in stores, it's, it's a dream come true. Legally pushing weed. All right guys, here we go. And remember, this is just my way of rolling. I've been rolling different ways over the past fucking 14 years-ish that I've been smoking. So um, I used to do the tuck roll, the tuck roll where you pinch the, the tip and you fill it in, but it always ends up running, so I stopped doing that. And then I started doing crutch in for, so anyway, experiments, experiments. This is my favorite way to roll, most efficient, and uh, it cones out, that way you smoke all your weed, you don't really waste any in the, in the tip. So let's get started, guys. Always remember to take all this, like that big back stem out, always try to take that off before you put that in the grinder because that will poke right through, this will poke right through your uh, paper and ruin your whole fucking joint, promise you. Here we go, remember, back stem. Sometimes they don't even really have a stem, that's all, it's a little nub. I think I'm gonna roll like a 1.5-ish just so we're not trying to roll fat, fat, fat joints yet because I want you guys to be able to roll like normal ones and then work your way up to fat ones. Uh, all right, guys, now that we uh, de-stemmed all those nugs, here we go. Grind it up and preference again, but I don't like to grind mine to powder. I feel like it sucks through the tip when you're smoking and it gets weed in your mouth. So I only go a couple twists. See that right there? How there's still little chunks left. That is cool sometimes, but I like to break these little nugs that are left. Little baby, baby rocks. Cause sometimes you ever uh, smoke a joint and it gets to a little hard patch and right when it burns that patch, the nug falls out of your joint. You're like, what the fuck? It's cause of that. It's cause these are the little nugs still. So you wanna break those nugs so they don't fuck your joint up later on. This is how I start. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but I mean, some people don't know how to roll joints. So listen step by step. Make sure the crease is in the middle and the gum part, the shiny side is towards you. That's it. So when you lick it, the gum folds on the paper. So right here, this is what I start with. I put my thumb, eh, like that much in. Enough room so you could put the tip in after. Put my thumb there and my hand like that to support it. You ever have, you ever roll joint, you put weed in, it goes like this. And all the weed falls out and you're like, how is this possible? Support it like this if you need to. Start putting your weed in. So what I do guys is I put less weed by the mouth that way when you're smoking it, you're smoking it and it goes down to the roach, you're not wasting a shitload of weed because you rolled it so fat all the way through. I like to go skinny and then fatter as the joint goes to the, to the start. Like a cone, exactly like a cone. So here we go. And don't worry if you can't fit it all. Sometimes the weed just does not want to stay in the fucking joint. I mean, it happens to all of us guys. I roll joints all day, every day. And it happens to me every day. Don't, don't, don't feel like you can't do it. It's just sometimes the weed doesn't work. That's how I start. See how there's just a straight gap? I'll clear it out too if I have to. See how there's just a gap? No weed, right? I put my fingers right around it, softly guys. Remember, the name of the game is soft. Um, imagine like you're holding a burrito that's overpacked. You don't wanna like squeeze the shit out of it. You just wanna barely hold it. That's what I'm doing, look it. I'm not even creasing the paper. I'm barely even holding the joint. So this is what I do. Push down right here, soft, and then support it with your fingers. And I push down, push down, push down. I'm trying to push the two pieces of paper together and rub them together. Rub 
rubbing it together, rubbing it together, rubbing it together, right? Now there's no weed at the tip. See how it's all full? Now, once, once this is what I do, right in the middle, this weed's so sticky, it got stuck right back together, shit. Okay, so what I'll do right here is now that I have that molded, see, look at, and if your weed's really dry, it won't mold like that, guys. So if you're, if you're doing it step by step and it doesn't work, don't feel bad, it might be your fucking weed's just a little too dry and it'll keep sliding out, sliding out, sliding out. So, now that I got the middle, the middle's the most important to me, because ready? All I do now, since it's tucked away, it's already molded, right? Here we go. Push in with your thumbs and these fingers just over that piece of paper. All you need is one piece of paper tucked. And then you flatten it out like that. Make sure it's all the way straight, see? Don't fold it, because then how are you gonna get the tip in after? See how it's already molded? And then that's what I do. Same thing, make sure it's straight, right there. Lick the middle only, close the middle, that's it. I know it looks so ugly, right? You're like, what the fuck, it's not a perfect joint. Just watch, that's how you have to mold it. So now that that's stuck down, this is what I do. Lick my finger and touch the crease where the gum's at, where the uh, sticky part's at, guys. Look at that. Right, as of right now, it's a straight tube, right? Tube, and you even have a hole for your tip still. So don't crush that, this is for later. So, this is the only part that's glued down. All of this is loose. You want it to be that way so you can still mold. So this is what I do, guys. I lift up the top paper a little, and I start molding again. I kind of roll it like a blunt, I guess, if you roll a swisher. But uh, there we go. And then what I do right here is I hold it, tuck it, just like we did earlier, and then lick it again, close it. So now, it's only stuck from that part down, right? Same thing. Lick your finger, touch the gum. Here we go. So, so far guys, how do you how are you doing at home? This is where you make it pretty, guys. You just, this is for everybody that can't roll a joint, right? Everybody that can't roll a joint, like, oh, I can't do it, that's why I roll all the, I smoke a bong, I smoke blunts, because I can mold them. You can smoke joints, you can roll joints. It just, it takes so much patience. So once you've got the structure down, then you can do it every time. You do it over and over and over and over. But uh, you ever see those, you ever feel those hard spots in your joint? Like, damn, it's rock hard. You wanna like massage that away. Just press it out. Because that's gonna be the lumpy part that gets stuck and falls out like we talked about earlier. It'll rock back up. This weed's so sticky. Listen, it like formed back together. That's how sticky it is. Get your tip. So this is what I do, guys. I do like the W method. I fold slightly toward me. Fold one, same exact, same exact uh, length back, and one back. So one, two, three. So it should look like this. And then all I do is roll it. Start the roll, but as tight as you can. Like, don't get it so tight that it won't pop back open, but you want to get it tight so it can fit in that hole and then you want it to expand while it's in there. That way you don't leave any gaps. I know it sounds super stupid and technical. Believe me guys, it's so much easier. You guys ever had to try to fit a crutch in after and there's a piece of paper in the way and it just fucking folds and gets stuck and you're like, why do I roll joints? Why the fuck am I doing this? Fix it, ready? Let's get this top view in on here. Look at that hole that we kept formed from earlier. That's why it's so important. Remember, look how small it is. It's gonna be way, way too small, right? But, unfold it a little, perfect size, and go. Done. But, since there's a little room, see the little, see the little gap? You don't want that, you might suck some weed through. And this is how you make the tip tight as fuck. For all you guys that ask me, how do you do the tips? Every single day, this is how I do it. This is what I do on the second one. Since you don't want it even bigger, you only wanna roll it, flip it once, that's it. Flip it down once, not the W. Once, and then roll it from there. Because if you do the W, it's gonna get thicker and it won't even fit in that space. So here we go. So now that you got that, ready? Fit it in that space, and then it just expanded. I'm just trying to show you how like, to get this down, the motion's down, so you're literally, I know you guys are at the fucking, your homies like, who can roll, who can roll? Like, fuck, I can kinda roll. Now you guys can all roll. I'm telling you guys, I wish I had a tutorial when I was in fucking like high school, college, just because like 
I can't, I couldn't roll as a kid. I couldn't roll at all. So I fucking hit pipes, smoked out of cans, all that type of shit. Plus my mom would kill me, so I never had papers. I right, pack it down. Not hard, just pack the weed down slightly. Just enough to where it's all even. There it is. And then the most important thing, you guys, you ever see fucking people in movies that get the joint and they twist it? That's what makes the tip of your joint rock hard so when you light it, it all gets black and falls off. I know you know what the fuck I'm talking about. What I do, ready? Pinch. I pinch one side, just like that. And then the side that's not pinched, pinch that side. Pinch it together, that's all you want. Pinch it together, do it again. Don't twist, just pinch like that, over and over and over. And it's gonna look like it twisted, but it didn't. Look at it, I'm just pinching it over and over and over and over. Look at it. There it is, there's the joint, step by step. That's how you roll a joint. I'm gonna roll one more quick joint, guys. Better one, quick one. See, not hard. If you have any questions, just go straight back and follow it step by step. Spark these up. Hey guys, this is a really important part. Light the tip like this. This is how I do it. I light the end. And I blow down, because all that extra paper is gonna go straight into the top of the weed. You ever get the runs right off the bat and your shit's running down the sides? Because you lit it wrong. You lit it like this. Like, I, I see people do it all the time. It's not a blunt. Blunt paper's way thicker. It doesn't burn as fast. That's what I do. You'll see me do this for every joint. See? Now I got the whole inlet. There we go. Technique. That was How to Roll a Perfect Joint, part two. Thank you guys so much for watching and for everyone that suggested it, thank you so much. Um, I get a lot of suggestions, guys, but please keep them coming. I fucking keep them all listed. We have a, a list of what we wanna do, but there's a bunch of stuff out there that we even we don't know. I just found out about fucking dab tabs. I don't even know what that was. So if there's some dope ass shit out there you guys wanted to see or want us to do, leave a comment. I read all of them, you guys know that. Leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Do me a favor, before you get out of here, click the like button. I really appreciate everybody out there being active on that. Thank you. Also, you guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Anytime I post anything, it'll go right to your phone. Thank you guys, shout out to you. Also, thank you everybody that's on our Patreon. Thank you so much. We've uh, worked like a hunt, what, 120 I think? It's fucking crazy. Thank you guys so much. The subscription box is for June. We just picked up some stuff. It's fucking awesome. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining. If you haven't, patreon.com slash dopeazilla.